I am here today with the Anacubic Cobra S1 3D printer and this thing is really cool. It's very easy to set up. Now right off the box the packaging is very nice. Uh, you just have to peel off the foil here and there and then open it up then pull out everything and open the screws so you can take out the plastic bed that's in there and then loosen the print bed. So that was very easy to do set up in just a few steps. Now you can set this up with like a little spool holder at the back and then just add one spool of filament and you can start printing with this right away. The software is very easy to use, you even have an app, I'll get into that in a second. But you also get the Ace Pro uh, combo, so you can uh, buy the Cobra S1 separate and just use one uh, type of filament, but you can also use the Ace Pro and then uh, start printing in multiple colors, which is also pretty cool. So setting up the Ace Pro is just a little bit more involved. You have to attach a separate like divider at the back, so this thing can work in sync with with the Cobra S1 and then just plug in a little cable and then it will know which type of filament to fill whenever you need it so you can print in multiple colors so that's pretty cool as well. So let's get into how to print with this thing. So you can easily connect this with the Anycubic app which is pretty easy to use. Uh, this uses Maker Online so you can directly search for models to uh, print right from the app which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't even need a computer to, to do this. Of course you don't really have access to the full suite of slicer software if you do that but when you are on the same network the automatically detects your anacubic right in the app you can uh, upgrade the firmware from here so that's very easy to do and you can also see that it's already upgraded right now or if you have a firmware update so you can click update right there so that's also very handy but the real magic happens when you start using the anacubic slicer software which is also very easy to use you can download this for uh, mac or for windows i have this on my window machine right here and you can see the entire bed here also when you have this on the same network it automatically detects the Anycubic. So connecting this was really, really easy. Just in a few seconds and you're up and running. And then you can download anything here from uh, Thingiverse, for example. Thingiverse, I think that's the largest 3D print model shop out there or, or a network out there. And you can download all those for free and then easily import them right in this software. So that's pretty cool. Let's open that up, click on import. Here, click on that STL file, and then you have your Pikachu right there on uh, your print bed, and you can see how large it is as well. So that's pretty uh, neat. So you can click here on slice if you like the size and you like the positioning. You can just click on slice that, and it will slice that in uh, segments and send that over to the printer. Uh, you can all do all this wirelessly over your uh, network here, so you can get started right away. You also see if you have the uh, Ace Pro connected here, your different filament types. So uh, you can do a multicolor one, like four colors uh, with the Ace Pro. And you also can download multicolor files and it will automatically detect which color is which. So that's pretty cool as well. So that's all baked in the Anycubic slicer right here. You can use that with or without like the Ace Pro. And you can click here on move and move that around just a little bit if you like. So it's easy to do up and that's not very wise of course because it needs to be on the surface. You can rotate it and you can also easily scale it. So just make that a little bigger if you like and you can see how much uh, bed you have left here and you can also it also detects how high it can print so you can never make a mistake here. So that's very easy to do and then you can click on the slicer and then the slicing is finished. You can see here how much time it will take within each step. So that's also pretty cool. How much total filament you're go, probably going to use and how much time it will take. It's a pretty large one, so this will, one will take five and a half hours. And then you can easily send that to the printer with the remote print button. And it will immediately send that to the Anycubic printer that you have on your network. Now this will allow you to make anything from very intricate designs like this uh, multicolor uh, 3D printed Pikachu I'm doing right over here. You can see it's making the stems and it's doing different colors. And you can do that all with the uh, different filaments that you've loaded in the Ace Pro. Um, but you can also do very simple things like this cat bus over here. Let me see if I can get that in frame. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's really cool. Very small little cat bus. And the details are very, very cool on this. 
So you can do also do like single filament prints. Okay, so a couple of things that I really like here. Uh, one, it's very easy to install and easy to use. Two, uh, it's fully enclosed here. So you have this nice door, it's fully enclosed. You also have this top here that you can open. Right now I have the Ace Pro right on, sitting right on top of that. So I can't open it anymore, um, but it is also open. So that's cool. You have a built-in uh, LED light. So it's not always with uh, these printers that you get a built-in LED light. You know, sometimes you have to buy that separately or you can't do that at all. But the advantage here of having a fully enclosed uh, thing like this, if you're worried about micro particles from printing uh, in the same room where you work, for example, then this has a little latch and you can put um, a, a carbon filter in there. So it has, it comes with a bag of carbon that you can put in there and then uh, the air is sucked out through there. So when you close that up, it also immediately has that, the, that extra uh, layer of carbon. There are also some extra plates you can 3D print. I saw them uh, where you can also add a HEPA filter so you can install that as well. But uh, right out of the box, it comes with that uh, carbon filter right there. So that's cool. And I think the Ace Pro is also very cool. You have all your rolls in there neatly aligned. And then you have these lights that indicate if it's working, if it's a detected one. Um, plus you can click here and you can see the filament that you loaded. If you're using uh, any cubic filament, it has the R uh, fit tag in there. So it automatically detects the type of filament and the color that you put in there. So that's also really cool. Um, if you don't use that, you can also click on one of these and then change the uh, color that you have in there. It's not important to get the color exactly right, but just so you know which color you have in the slicing software. So when you uh, click on one of the colors, as if you do multicolor, you can easily see uh, and map which color uses uh, for, for which color in the final print. So that's cool. And another really cool and uh, thing, and not every printer has this, is you can turn off the power, stop your print midway, and then when you turn the power back on, you can continue printing. So you don't need to, well, leave the printer on the entire time if you, well, have to fix something. So I think that's really cool as well. So here's a half finished Pikachu with the multicolor, as you can see. And I believe not every printer can do that. Turn the power off and then turn that back on and continue printing. So those are a few of the things that I really, really like about this Anycubic. So if you want an easy to set up printer, I think you can't go wrong with the Anycubic Cobra S1. And if you want to get into multicolor printing uh, with also a very easy setup, and seamless integration right here, you can go for the Ace Pro as well. And you have combos where you can get both uh, in one package. So I really recommend that for anyone looking to get into 3D printing.